the taxman actually does not believe that you're going to do all the work and pay tax as required. So what they do is try and recover this tax in advance from you. There are two ways in which they do it. The first one is TDS or tax deduction at source. If you're a salaried person, your income is not paid to you without tax being deducted first and paid off to the government. So end of the year, you only receive a statement from your employer which shows what tax has been deducted on your behalf and already paid to the government. Now TDS is required not just for salary but for several payments under the Act. So a part of the tax liability could be collected by the taxman much before the income comes to your hands. The second way in which tax is collected is what is called advanced tax. Companies, businesses, self-employed, all of these categories will have to, from time to time, determine how much is their tax liability and keep paying the tax in installments before the financial year is out. These are the advanced tax rates. By 15th of September, you should have paid 30% of your estimated tax liability for the year. By 15th of December, you should have paid 60%. By 15th of March, which is the last date, you should have paid 100% of your estimated tax liability for the financial year. Now, this will apply for those who do not uh, take, get their income from salary, but who are self-employed and have to declare taxes on their incomes. Do I have to file tax returns? Now, if tax has been paid in advance or if it has been deducted at source already, should I have to file tax returns? Several taxpayers are too lazy to bother with returns. You have to file them for a few important reasons. The first one of course is that if you are salaried and your employer gave you Form 16, the tax return format and your Form 16 format are going to be very identical. It's just a question of copying the items here and putting it on the tax returns. It's fairly simple and straightforward. You can file these returns in time. If you are an advanced tax uh, payer and you have income which is your own, it's very much possible that you have a lot of expenses which you want to claim as deductions. Unless you have a tax audit of your books, and you are able to file returns in which you are showing what is the profitability of your business and therefore what is the amount of tax you pay, it is difficult for you to establish how well your business is doing. There is also another reason why you should be filing your tax returns. There is an elaborate tax information network which the government has set up. So on the basis of your PAN, several transactions of yours including your foreign trips, your purchases, your property are all tracked by the TIN. So you may come up for scrutiny. What the taxman will be interested in knowing is whether the assets that you have are associated with known sources of income. Now how are you going to establish what your income was? Your income tax return. So if you filed an income tax return, you're going to be able to show what are the incomes you earned and therefore be able to explain why you have the assets that you're having. So unless you plan to evade taxes, it's a good idea to file returns regularly. Special situations. Now there can be specific situations which create some complications when you try and file your income tax returns. The first one could be cash. Uh, you could be in a profession where you earn uh, or transact in cash on a regular basis. It's very important that you keep accounts and you keep vouchers. So it's possible to be able to account for that income which you are receiving in cash. Otherwise, it can become black. The second uh, situation is where taxes arise because of transactions that you make. For instance, you could be trading very happily on the stock market. You must remember that every time you are buying and selling, you're generating capital gains. You're buying at 10, selling at 12, the 2 rupees is a capital gain and under the tax laws, that's an income, it should be taxed. So it's important that you receive annual statements, your broker, your bank and all the others who transact with you will give you an annual tax statement. They will tell you how much was the income they generated and therefore they make it easy for you to pay a tax on that. Now if you are subject to service tax, it's important that when you invoice your client, you add the service tax. You indicate that you are a professional who's taking a fee. And if the service you are offering is taxable, 
you include that at the rate that the government has given and always invoice the gross amount your fee plus the service tax this helps you pay this amount by receiving it from the client and some of us mindlessly buy gold land and property it's important to remember that these are subject to wealth tax so before accumulating income in cash in wealth in the market and in services remember that you have to bring it into your books so that you can be happy with the assets that you have created with the income you have earned are there any benefits from paying taxes one can think of at least four nice benefits that you will have first one when you go to the bank and ask for a loan the bank will want to know what is your income to be able to decide how much loan to give you so you're earning well but you've not disclosed your income and you're going and asking for a loan for a crore of rupees and your income tax return is saying that your income is 10 lakhs very unlikely you will get that loan sometimes when you have to apply for visa to a few countries the uh, visa requirements ask you to show the past three years income tax return they want to be sure that you're able to fund your travel your stay and that you have a good profession to come back so without income tax returns it's very likely that you will not your visa could get rejected then all of us care a lot about good quality education for our children assume you're sending your child abroad the university where the child gets admission will be keen to know whether you are able to pay the fee you will establish it by showing your income tax return and telling them what is their income that you earn if you did not disclose your income who knows it might be difficult to establish that you can afford your child's education and there are few instances in which your net worth will matter assume after a point you decide to start on your own you want to set up your business you're making a presentation before a pe investor who's very impressed with your business idea and then they ask you what's your net worth you will not be able to establish it unless you had income tax record which showed how much you have earned there may be beautiful benefits to actually filing your tax return because you're able to establish how much your income is and how much you're worth 